Circuit Studio delivers a powerful design solution for those who create printed circuit boards on occasion and require a professional level tool at their fingertips with which to do so. With a streamlined interface built atop a powerful PCB design engine, Circuit Studio provides the tools necessary to capture and lay out your boards and produce manufacturing data with which to turn your ideas into physical reality. And all from within a single, powerful yet intuitive, unified design environment. A consistent selection and editing paradigm across different editors allows you to easily and smoothly switch between various design tasks within the Circuit Studio environment. This portion of the video series will describe the various main elements of the workspace. Do not be surprised if your environment does not look exactly like this, as Circuit Studio adjusts its environment to suit the current editor that you're working in. Let's open a reference design project and take a quick look at the environment and how it behaves. First, we're going to go to File, Open Project, and browse into the Public Documents area for Circuit Studio into the Examples folder, and let's open the GSM Logger PCB project. Review your projects panel. The default location is docked on the left side of the workspace to see the GSM logger project and documents have been loaded. If you do not see your projects panel, go ahead and access the view tab and use the projects button to go ahead and open the projects panel from the ribbon menu. Once open, go ahead and double click on the GSM logger schematic document to open that document and make it visible within the main design window. Notice that the document is now open on the main design window and you now have a document tab on your documents bar. Click on the home tab of your ribbon menu and notice that your environment has adjusted its resources to suit the schematic editor. Next, let's go ahead and double click on the PCB document to open this document and make it available within the main design window. Noting that the document is now open in the main design window you now have an additional document tab on your documents bar, and the environment has now adjusted itself to suit the PCB editor. With the ribbon interface still set on the Home tab, single click the document tab for your schematic document and notice that the environment will again adjust. Now let's go ahead and switch back to the PCB and see that it does adjust based on the currently focused document type. Let's go ahead and right click on the document tab for the PCB and we're going to select split vertical so we can get a view of both the schematic and the PCB at the same time and take note that the currently focused document is going to determine which of the environment resources are actually shown. Go ahead and right click again on a document tab and select merge all to remove all of the splits. Next up are panels. Workspace panels are essential elements of the Circuit Studio environment, whether specific to a particular document editor or used on a more global system-wide level. They present information and controls that aid productivity and allow you to design more efficiently. When Circuit Studio is first started, a number of panels will already be open. Some panels, like the Projects panel, will appear docked to the left-hand side of the application window. Others, including the Libraries panel, will be in pop-out mode and appear as buttons on the right-hand border of the application window. On the View tab of the ribbon interface, there are a number of buttons that provide quick access to the available workstation panels in context with the document editor you are currently using. When one of these buttons is pressed, the visibility of the respective panel is toggled. Depending on the particular document editor that is currently active, multiple panels may be accessible or indeed open at any given time. To facilitate the layout and use of multiple panels in the workspace, various panel display modes and management features are provided. The following three display modes are supported for panels. Docked mode, panels are permanently displayed in the workspace. In this mode, a panel can be docked horizontally or vertically within the main application window. When docking vertically, a panel will dock to the right or left of the main design window. When docking horizontally, a panel will dock either above the main design window and below dock toolbars, or below the main design window and above the status bar. In the pop-out mode, panels are hidden, appearing when their button is hovered over or clicked on. This mode is essentially an extension of the standard docked mode. A docked panel can be put into this mode by clicking on the pin symbol 
next to the panel's close cross. The pin symbol will change to indicate the mode. Pressed down, the panel is in the original docked mode. Out to the side, the panel is now in pop-out mode. In this mode, the panel will appear as a button on the application border. Moving the cursor over the panel button will result in the panel sliding out from the border. Moving the cursor away from the panel will cause it to slide back again. Clicking on the panel button will expand it without sliding. And in this case, you actually have to click away from the panel in order for it to slide back again. And then we have the floating mode. Panels float over the workspace, becoming transparent whenever the cursor approaches. A floating panel has no push pin icon. So let's go ahead and press the close cross in the upper right for the docked panel on the left and notice that this group is closed and that the environment has now resized the workspace to take advantage of the extra screen real estate it was given. And now we're gonna go ahead and open the projects panel again and notice that it appears in the same location it was closed in. The workspace has again resized. And the point of showing you this is that you can feel free to close your workspace panels at any time that you need a bit more screen real estate. They can always be reopened and they will remember their last location. Now that we've spent a little bit of time getting familiar with the environment, let's go ahead and get a project started.